Hi everyone, it's Fiela and I'm here with a pizza box. <laughs> I'm going to make uh, a tutorial on a hidden binding for your junk journal and um, to this piece of um, yeah, pizza box I will attach my signatures and I prepared it a little bit um, just because that will be faster. Um, my signatures are uh, 21 centimeters high um, so I measured where I want uh, where I want my holes to be, uh, and that way I can use this for my pizza box too. Um, this is 21 centimeters, and I decided I wanted the holes at four centimeters, ten and a half centimeters, and 17, so it's equally divided. And um, then I made the pizza box piece a little bit bigger because I want the, the signatures to be inside the book. Um, so then I measured, you know, um, the 21 centimeters, and with that I, I used this template. So I can just measure easily where the hole should come. I hope that makes sense. Um, but now <coughs> I'll show you uh, what I'll do. And these are my signatures. It's going to be a chunky, chunky, chunky monkey. And it's for my... Um, Paris junk journal photo album kind of thing. <clears throat> um, as you see, I have this lace here and somewhere on the inside too. So I. Um, ah! This is not a good day for recording, I guess. But anyway, I drop everything today, but whatever. Bear with me. Um, yeah, so I attached it so um, when I sew the signatures in, um, it will be in the right place, I hope. Anyway, so I'm going to start with the first signature. I've done a video on the pamphlet stitch before, um, but I'm, I'll just show you. I use a telephone book to um, to put my signature in, and you can put this aside. You're gonna use your template, and I always put the top on there just to make it <coughs> easy because you know if you if it's not really even if the template is, is not even then you might have a problem now because this is so thick and there's lace in the middle I am not going to Do them all at once. I hope you can see this. I just poke the holes where I put the centimeters and this is kind of um, with six signatures it's kind of, kind of a big work but yeah. It will look nice in the end. If you're lucky. <laughs> My god, I'm such a terrible, terrible, terrible whoo, tutorial maker. I know. signature. So this is the part which I will glue to my um, my cover. So we are going to sew on this side. And of course my tape is loose. And... and that piece was here. 
Oh, I'm so bad at making tutorials. I'm sorry, you guys. <laughs> eh. Okay. I have a thick needle here and some wax thread. It's just thread for making jewelry. And that's what I usually use. And of course I make a knot. Might have to do a voiceover. I don't know. Um, this one is smelly. I should ugh. Okay. Uh, and I think it was three times. You need to when you when you want to measure your how much thread you need. I always put like um, you know uh, a generous amount of thread, and I just go like three times like this and then just a little bit more to be sure because I know me and where did I put my ah. Ugh, it's difficult to be me I can tell you oh let me don't know if that helps okay let me see if all the pages are on the right the right side up. I think so. Yep. Okay, so since we are doing a hidden binding, I want the strings to come on the inside of my <coughs> of my signature. So what you'll do is you'll start Yeah, you'll start, it's been a while, <laughs> you'll start in the middle hole and you try to find all the, the holes, the middle ones of your papers. Does that make sense? There's another one. And another one. You always start at your uh, on the right side, which because it's easier when you are doing the other signatures, it's easier because this will be laying down. So that's the idea behind it. Okay. Now in the middle, can you all see this? Yeah. In the middle, you want to leave a piece of string. You could attach it with some washi tape. Um, I'm just going to be really careful. Haha. <laughs> and you're going to put your needle in the middle hole of the most right line of holes. If that makes sense. I don't know if it makes sense. Okay, so it will be attached like this. Now I'm just going to make it loose and I'm going to the top one and attach it, um, put my needle through there. Now you're going to find your holes and I don't know where this one is. Here. And again you're going to put the needle through all your papers and then you need to it now you don't need to pull it really tight right now because um, it will all be tightened when um, you do the last ones um, so now you're going all the way down to the last hole you made and you're going to find the holes
you will just tighten everything up and in the end when you went through all the holes and I hope it will work the way I want it to okay because now you are going to have to go through the last hole of your pizza box and then on the back you see there's a, a string here you're going again through the middle hole that way you will get two strings on both sides of the middle hole and then you're going back through the middle hole of your um, pages where you already went through which that's why you shouldn't uh, um, pull the the core too hard yet because then it make, gets more difficult um, yeah. and there we are so now it's the time where you can um, where you can start making it more secure and more tight. You need to make sure these are really close to the to the pizza box, like it's not too loose. And what I usually do, because that makes it a bit more secure, I have the cord in the middle. Then I have one string on this side and one string on this side because you're going to make a knot. So let's make sure it's all good and well. Dun, dun, dun. Did I didn't do anything upside down because this is a time where you can still change it. No, I didn't. I'm a good girl. Ha ha ha. So you just make a knot, you tie it, and this way the cord in the in the middle will be secured. You make another one. And there is your signature. Now, as you see, you have a lot of um, thread, you know. So you could just use a slightly shorter piece the next time I just I wasn't really sure uh, I'm just going to cut this off because what I will do when I'm finishing up my my junk journal I will put hearts on it or something and make it dangle in the middle but if you want you can just trim it really short that's your personal preference okay so that was one I am now going to do the others but I will not bore you with that I'll come back when I finished it uh, yeah so I'll be back in a bit 